and welcome back to Loaves and Dishes. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a super easy pico de gallo. This recipe is so simple. It's just a classic pico de gallo and there's no cooking involved. All you're doing is chopping up vegetables. <laughs> but before we get into today's video, hi, my name's Sarah. and I have been a food content creator or chef for uh, 10 years now at least, probably longer, to be honest. <laughs> I'm very excited to share this recipe with you. Like I said, it's super, super simple, and it's gonna be perfect for any family get together, any party that you're going to, and for the big game. Please be sure to subscribe. We really appreciate all of our subscribers, and if you wanna be notified when we upload, be sure to click the bell icon. Okay, let's get started.
So I scooped out the white pithy part and the seeds. You don't want that in there. Those are real bitter and that's where a lot of the heat is. And now I am cutting up my jalapeno. I am doing a very, very small dice. The technical term for this is a brunoise. It is very small. And I really recommend trying to get the jalapeno cut up as small as possible so that it like disperses really well so that you don't get like a big bite of jalapeno in your pico. Now, if you really like spicy, if you really like jalapenos and you want big bites of jalapeno, you do you. But this is just how I would recommend doing it. Most people, lots of people don't like it. Uh, so I recommend trying to go small. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit of cilantro as well. I'm just gonna, I just cut up a little bit and uh, this is about like a quarter cup of cilantro before I've chopped it all up. It's probably about a quarter cup too after it's done. Not much. You could use dried cilantro if you wanted to for this, uh, but I really recommend with pico especially, trying to make sure that everything is fresh if you can. And here's the best part. This is my favorite part about pico, lime. I rolled the lime to kind of like release the juice a little bit and now I'm zesting it. I'm gonna zest the whole lime. And uh, for the average person, I would say the zest of a lime and the juice of one lime is gonna be enough. I like mine super limey, so I put in another lime off camera. <laughs> um, but you just wanna be careful when you're zesting it that you're not getting like the white pithy part and you wanna make sure that you're not getting any seeds in there. So I recommend using a juicer. Now I'm adding some salt and some pepper. And the salt is really important. You can go a little bit heavier on the salt for this because tomatoes require a lot of salt. Um, they just need, they can just take more salt than other vegetables can. And I'm squeezing my lime in there. And I'm also adding a little bit of my garlic. Uh, if you use fresh garlic, I would only use like one or two cloves because it's really potent when it's fresh. But I think this is a really good application for the garlic because it's much more mild in flavor. And I just added a little bit and that part's optional. You don't have to. I would recommend some garlic powder if you're not gonna use any garlic, uh, but I think that's a great op uh, application for garlic. Anyways, so you just give that a mix and that's pretty much it. I did put in a little extra pinch of salt. Just wanna make sure everything is mixed up really well. And there it is. Um, but that's it. If you wanna see more, be sure to check out Loaves and Dishes and thanks for watching.